right, back again. Uh, Soren Nighthawk here. Um, sealed event. Round two, game two. Uh, guys, backs up against the wall um, due to time. Um, only in game two, but he's already down to seven and a half minutes. Uh, so I'm not really sure what he was thinking there. It's pretty decent. Oh, hand just got even better. Um, I got to turn one play, turn two play. Uh, if I draw a land, I got excellent th turn three play. Um, so he's in uh, tough shape here. You know, what the funny part is, it like, might even not matter on time because, like, I might beat him really quickly in this game. And so he'll have, well, it won't matter because then I win. Um, he's just dead weight on that, and it seems pretty bad. Which makes me think, oh wow, um, he's hating life now because um, the only thing he could have here is if he has the guy that like makes me sacrifice a guy. Like other than that, like he is in a really tough spot. So like he took all of his. Oh, that's the guy that makes me sacrifice a guy. All right, that sure does. Wow, that seems like like is this a constructed game really? Because Wow. Wow, just wow. Um Alright, well I just gotta get a dude out here and and uh tempted to play this guy and equip. Cause otherwise It's uh, probably gonna make me discard a card. Probably discard this. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna play this. Wow, good for you though, buddy. That's uh, that's sixty bucks. Well, not on here, but in real life. I'm actually uh, playing Solar Flare in real life. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, they don't, you know, I think they're kind of, you know, they think it's not necessarily, ugh, oh, not what I wanted to see. Each player discard, what's he going to discard? Oh, well that, he probably has another one watch. Um, this guy just seems way too big for this match. And it exiles two, which I have skipped Ruinator. Um... See, he can make me sacrifice next turn, so that's really unfortunate. But then this guy will die, so. So I bring up this. Oh, I can just sacrifice that too, duh. That was pretty bad. Okay. Let's play this card as a card. Seems way worse for him than me. Um. I think Murder of Crows here because, well, no. Probably not. I mean, he is so lucky that he has that though because, like, it was not looking pretty for him. So, I think I do that, which allows him not to be able to, uh, so I do it before, he won't be able to use the sacrifice player, creature. However, like, I'm really not afraid of sacrificing a creature at this point, because First off, I got this. That's like really bad synergy. Um, second off, if I had to, I could sacrifice that. So I, don't, I just, I don't know, he's in a bad situation. I mean, when, when your opponent's playing Geist and Scabrunator, all of them like turn like four or five or whatever, like, I don't care if you got Liliana or not, like, it's gonna be tough for you. And like, I'm also finding that Liliana is like, 
in limited. I mean, of course it's good. Like it's it's a planeswalker. It makes people sacrifice a creature. Hmm. Redirect it. Good thing that's a zombie, huh? Like he has no. Oh, wow, he's playing like <laughs> he's playing Solar Flare, but he's not even playing white, so it's like. Eh, I mean, well, I, he does have the one surge, so I'm guessing he has um, the other thing. But you know, like I mean, this is really awkward for me actually right now because. Um, I just won't play that because he's probably going to discard. Because now Liliana's going to be able to get big because he has this indestructible guy. So that really sucks. Another one? Kidding me? How is this game not working out for me? This is crazy. I had an amazing start. I have no re- oh! Oh man, I'm- Alright folks. Um, I just made a major play mistake because I forgot that that guy loses indestructibility um, when he blocks. Crap. That was so horrible. That was so horrible. Mmm. See, this is the kind of stuff that you want to, like, just rage on because, like, that is just so bad for me. Like, yeah, that is so bad for me. So just to protect Liani, he'd have to lose this guy. And or, yeah, he would have to lose this guy, and I lose that guy. So I think I still do it. Like, God, that's... Oh, I made such a bad play mistake there, though. That was so bad. I think I just... You know, here, here's one thing I want to talk about. Like, when you think you, like, you get lazy, basically. You think you're going to win the game. You just get lazy. And, um... That's pretty much what happened to me there. And, uh, I should have, you know, he should have lost Liliana and or this guy, uh, that first turn. See, now I'm in a situation where I'm trading, uh, which I don't really like. I think, I think I just come at him with the, uh, the mauler. Hope he sacrifices that guy. Um, I'm just gonna come on with just the mauler. Because I don't think he'll attack into my other guys. I mean he could, but like it seems pretty bad for him. Pretty bad exchange. The only thing I could think is if he had some sort of something to make my guy smaller or something. Hmm. This is a little tricky now. See, he can double block. He loses this guy. I hit him for five. Hmm. Hmm. I think I sit here. That's a bad exchange for me. Be a bad exchange for me. And it's unfortunate he's got this like intimidate guy out here. He's hit me for one, like but like this is the type of things where uh <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? 
What has happened here? So he probably thinks I'm top decking land. Um, okay, so we're gonna destroy that guy. He's gonna fly with this guy. I think I have to get rid of the bigger guy here because it's more damage down the road. And he has to activate the other guy. Man, how he won that is just beyond me. But, so, okay, so here, kind of going back to what I was talking about. You know, and granted, I should have, I should have won that. I, I play mistake. That was just a straight up play mistake. Um, not reading cards, tech. Um, watch, I'm just gonna do a gold things and be like, get him to have to click. Um, because now he's down to four minutes. You know, so all right, well, go to game three, I guess.